Japan's restaurant uses femots instead of women to dance for customers. Japanese culture is very different from the West, and so are their restaurants. Today, we'll take you to Japan to understand how restaurants are using fembots and robots in place of women dancers to please their customers. Hey everyone, welcome to AI Future Life, a perfect channel for everything about the innovation in AI. Hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. And with that being said, let's begin. Japan has a lot of different types of restaurants. Many of the popular cafes in Japan are cosplay cafes with specific themes. It's entirely possible to take a wrong turn into a Hello Kitty themed restaurant in Japan, where the waiters are all dressed in Hello Kitty costumes, the lights are pink and the food decorations are pink and cute to match the aesthetic. Sometimes you might even come across customers dressed in Hello Kitty costumes hanging out in these cafes. Another popular theme for cosplay restaurants is prison or lockup cafes. The entrance is usually in a dark alleyway to make the customer's experience as immersive as possible. On such restaurant is the Alcatraz, where dinners are seated inside prison blocks, and the menu has a plethora of colorful cocktails, most of which are stirred or mixed using sex toys. All the food on the menu is prepared expertly by trained chefs and tastes delicious, but to stick with the aesthetic the meals are served in steel pans, and the only way diners can call the waiters is by banging a metal pipe against the cell door. Similarly, there are restaurants that focus more on horror, and many of them have even started to use technology to heighten the sense of dread. In one lockup theme horror restaurant, when customers enter they are welcomed by distant screams and sound of dilling later during their dining experience. They might be interrupted by paid actors in horror costumes. But the best part is in the men's room. Imagine after a night of drinking, you leave the group to relieve yourself, and as you do so, a ghost appears in the mirror in front of you with scissors in her hand. Yes, this is reality, and the ghost continues to snip towards you with the scissors. And this is just the start of the influence of technology on Japanese restaurants and dining. As you might have guessed, maid cafes are also very popular. Guests at the maid cafe are greeted with waitresses in made cute maid outfits and are treated like royalty. It is so popular that maid cafes have become a whole subgenre in Japanese cafe culture. And you guessed it, the food served there follows the cute, made aesthetic with hints of kawaii. But how are robots becoming more popular in Japanese restaurants and cafes? You might be imagining the Japanese sushi places where you can order the sushi of your choice on a table and it is delivered to you on a conveyor belt or the places that have a rolling casserole and you can pick any sushi you want to eat and it is automatically added to your bill right. Although it is technically true that these machines can be classified as robots and they exist in the Japanese restaurant industry, Today's video is about very different kinds of robots. The robots we are going to talk about provide the same benefits provided by the sushi conveyor belts. It's cheaper on the long run, has low downtime, and above all it saves a lot of time. These are the Japanese restaurant dancing femots. Something like this would face a ton of backlash in the West, but in Japan, it's just another day. These robots can dance and perform to entertain guests at the restaurant while they wait for their food. Previously, Japanese restaurant dancers were a big attraction, especially in Tokyo. The restaurants featured half-naked women in bright colors and neon light performing and keeping the guests entertained. One such attraction was the robot restaurant in Shinjuku, Tokyo. The aesthetic here isn't really Japanese, but is heavily influenced by the Japanese technological advances. One visitor described the aesthetic as being a mix of pole dance with a healthy dose of Transformers. But this uniquely bizarre pop culture rodeo has just started. As the show goes on, more and more bizarre performances happen. One featured go-go dancers dressed in bikini doing mod fights, while another has women banging taiko drums strapped with lights. Most tourists enjoy the shows but claim that the show is weird for the sake of being weird. Some of these themed restaurants have now started to replace human dancers with what can be effectively called fembots. They are more than just an animatronic at your local pizzeria that can sing and dance. These fembots are very advanced, and after a few shots, you might even think they are real dancers. Fembots or gynoids are very popular in Japanese pop culture and science fiction, but these realistic feminine robots have a ton of features. Almost all of them are designed with slenderness and grace and display a welcoming posture. Some even have a vast array of sensors under their synthetic skin so that they can react to their surroundings. The primary use of these robots in Japanese businesses started almost a decade ago as greeting robots in receptions of big hotels. 
The robots run on complex AI and speech recognition algorithms to process human voice and make decisions accordingly. But the dancing models do not need such speech recognition abilities, but they do need a lot of complicated mechanics. These allow the robot to dance with smooth and fluid motions, giving the precision to dance elegantly. These robot performances have some cons though. The robot dancers are just too perfect. Unlike humans, they do not make variations. So if you have seen one show, you have basically seen all the shows. And there is nothing new unless the organizers reprogram the robots to perform different moves. These gymoids or fembots are manufactured by companies like Kawad Industries. Some of the most famous humanoid female robots that can fully interact with humans include Kawad Industries HRP3 Prominent MK2, HRP4 see the android with the face designed to look like a huge Japanese female, and the actoid the realistic female robot that debuted in the Expo 2005. Outside restaurants, gynoids and fembot are also being used in the medical industry. Models like Hanako being specifically designed to train medical professionals. Another such Japanese robot in the medical industry that made headlines during the pandemic was Pepper. Pepper wore a mask despite being immune to all human disease and used to greet patients at the lobby of hotels, where patients with mild COVID symptoms were being kept. Also during the pandemics, amidst mandatory social distancing, Sports events in Japan had two alternatives. Either they could cancel a whole game or the event would take place in an empty stadium. But spectators are the real fun of sports events and sports. An empty stadium is just odd for the players as well as the people watching at home. So as you might have guessed, dancing robots were used to cheer a baseball team called the Fukuoka Soft Bangkoks. This was the first time exclusively robots were used to show support for a team during a sports event. Like the Fembot dancers in Japanese-themed restaurants, the cheering robots were also met with mixed reactions. Many were excited to see such an arrangement while others were not so happy. One user tweeted, This is horrifying. I'm pretty sure this is how Terminator started. To sum things up, Japan has been embracing this cultural change towards robots for a while now. With decreasing birth rates and shrinking workforces, robots seem like the only solution for now. Still, it is highly debatable how much of the Japanese workforce can really be replaced by robots and is very dependent on the type of industry. But at least in the theme cafe and restaurant industry, robots have started to replace dancers and receptionists. Some are just greeting the guests while others are performing in the world's most amazing robot dance performance. So would you like to have dinner at one of these places while humanoid female robots entertain you? Do you wish you didn't have to go to Japan to experience something amazing like this? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And that's all for this video. Hope you have enjoyed watching it. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics. Catch you in the next video. Until then, peace.